Should we be worrying more about another terrorist attack in New York or about the ability of journalists and human rights workers around the world to do their jobs? How do we value and weigh those two things? The hacker ethic was that information should be freely accessible. The hacker ethic was that, um, was the hands-on imperative, that people should be free to manipulate, change, modify, study, reverse engineer the technology around them. And the hacker ethic was built into the technology itself. Decentralization was a design principle that had a political impact. And the important thing about decentralization is that it empowered people to make their own decisions about what was right and wrong. Decentralization was built into the DNA of the early internet, where it would be dumb pipes, smart edges, the innovation could take place, and the network would run it. The idea was that we would have this global network, and the global network would allow us to communicate with anyone anywhere, anytime. And it was around that time that I read the Hacker Manifesto in Frack magazine, written by the mentor. And I learned from that that hackers were a lot like my fellow academic nerds at New College. We were tired of being fed intellectual baby food. We wanted to take responsibility for our own lives. We thought that information should be freely available and that we should be able to communicate and think freely. We mistrusted authority, and we wanted to change the world. And we wanted to live in a place where, in the mentor's own words, uh, we would exist without skin color, without nationality, without religious bias, just based on the quality of our thoughts. Can you hack it or not? What if I told you there's a class of hackers who don't just have social skills, they have more social intelligence than anyone you'll ever meet? I think that participation in a digital society can be good or bad, depending on whether that society is just or unjust. But you will listen to me today. Is that understood? Yes, ma'am. I'm Christopher, I'm 13, and I'm a hacker. And I know a lot about hacking. But remember, with great processing power comes great responsibility. The Hacker Manifesto by The Mentor, January 8th, 1986. Another one got caught today. It's all over the papers. Teenager arrested in computer crime scandal. Hacker arrested after bank tampering. Damn kids. They're all alike. Did you and your three-piece psychology and 1950s techno brain ever take a look behind the eyes of the hacker? Did you ever wonder what made him tick, what forces shaped him, what may have molded him? I am a hacker. Enter my world. Mine is a world that begins with school. I'm smarter than most of the other kids. This crap they teach us bores me. Damn underachiever. They're all like... I'm in junior high or high school. I've listened to teachers explain it for the 15th time how to reduce a fraction. I understand it. No, Miss Smith, I didn't show my work. I, I did it in my head. Damn kid. Probably copied it. They're all like... I made a discovery today. I found a computer. Wait a second. This is cool. It does what I want it to. If it makes a mistake, it's because I screwed it up. Not because it doesn't like me, or feels threatened by me, or thinks I'm a smartass, or doesn't like teaching and shouldn't be there. Damn kid. All he does is play games. They're all like... Then it happened. A door opened to a world. Rushing through the phone line like heroin through an addict's veins, an electronic pulse is sent out. A refuge from the day-to-day -day incompetencies is sought. A board is found. This is it. This is where I belong. I know everyone here. Even if I never met them, I never talked to them, and never may hear from them again. Uh, I know you all. Damn kid. Tying up the phone line. They're all like... You bet your ass we're all like, we've been spoon-fed baby food at school and we hungered for steak. The bits of meat that you did let slip through were pre-chewed and tasteless. We've been dominated by sadists or ignored by the apathetic. The few that had something to teach us found us willing pupils, but those few are like drops of water in the desert. This is our world now. The world of the electron and the switch. The beauty of the bod. We make use of a service already existing without paying for what could be dirt cheap if it wasn't run by profiteering gluttons, and you call us criminals. 
we explore and you call us criminals. We seek after knowledge and you call us criminals. We exist without skin color, without nationality, without religious bias, and you call us criminals. You build atomic bombs, you wage wars, you murder, you cheat, and lie to us, and try to make us believe it's for our own good, yet we're the criminals? Yes, I am a criminal. My crime is that of curiosity. My crime is that of judging people by what they say and think, not what they look like. My crime is that of outsmarting you, something that you will never forgive me for. I am a hacker, and this is my manifesto. You may stop this individual, but you can't stop us all. After all, we're all alike.